By all appearances, Kate Middleton lives a lavish life of palace pleasures. But she has a human body like the rest of us, and that's led to some serious medical problems over the years. Catherine, Princess of Wales, stepped into the public spotlight when she and Prince William announced their engagement in November 2010. While Kate's savvy fashion choices garnered her plenty of attention from the start, public interest in Kate's health began a year later. In November 2011, royal fans noticed a mark or scar underneath Kate's hair, generating all kinds of speculation as to its cause. While some people believed it was a hair extension track, a palace spokesperson clarified that it was a three-inch scar from a childhood surgery. Without divulging any specifics, royal sources insinuated that it was a significant medical event. However, John Skurr, a consultant surgeon at the Lister Hospital in London, was skeptical, telling the Daily Mail, I really doubt it was any serious medical condition, and I would say it is as a result of an arteriovenous malformation, a birthmark being removed. Ever since then, the media and royal fans have continued to discuss and speculate about the princess's health on various occasions. Depending on the issue and situation, Kate and the palace have chosen the level of detail they wish to disclose. Here are some instances when the royal family has spoken about Kate's health. During her three pregnancies, Kate experienced severe morning sickness known as hyperemesis gravidarum. It can mean severe nausea and vomiting more than three times a day. In December 2012, even though she was less than 12 weeks pregnant with Prince George, Kate decided to disclose her pregnancy after a hospital stay for the condition. Then, when she was pregnant with Princess Charlotte, Kate had to cancel some royal outings, prompting the palace to explain that she had hyperemesis gravidarum again. It happened yet again in 2017 when Kate was pregnant with Prince Louis and she had to miss a previously scheduled appearance. Kate also couldn't accompany George on his first day of school due to her illness. In 2020, Kate got candid about her hyperemesis gravidarum when she appeared on the Happy Baby, Happy Mom podcast, saying, Lots of people have it far, far worse, but it was definitely a challenge. The princess also explained it influenced her decision to explore the hypnobirthing method in preparation for labor. And actually, I realized that this was something that I could take control of, I suppose, during labor. It was, yeah, hugely powerful. In September 2023, Kate made a royal appearance with a very different medical problem. Two of her fingers on her right hand were taped together. Apparently, Kate sustained this minor injury while bouncing on a trampoline with her three kids. By early October, while Kate no longer needed to keep her fingers bandaged for speaking engagements, she opted to retape her injured fingers before participating in a wheelchair rugby game. Finally, on January 17, 2024, Kensington Palace announced that Kate had undergone planned abdominal surgery the day before. While the statement revealed that Kate's procedure had been successful, it did not reveal the reason and noted that she was expected to stay in the hospital for 10 to 14 days. Apparently, she split the difference, because on January 29th, an additional palace statement revealed that Kate was home and moving forward with her recovery. Kate's initial announcement clearly stated that while she was aware of public interest, she wanted to keep her health information private. Even so, the palace did reveal the condition is not cancerous. Unfortunately, in the absence of specific disclosures, rumors about Kate's health crisis have abounded. In Spain, a journalist incorrectly reported that Kate had had to be put into an induced coma during the procedure. This claim was refuted by a palace source, who bluntly said, It's fundamentally totally made up, and I'll use polite English here, it's absolutely not the case. Although Kate doesn't plan to make any royal appearances until after Easter, it was reported that she planned to work from home as she recovers from her surgery.